what is the big picture? Is there an afterlife? What is a soul? Do extraterrestrials exist? Are they coming here? What do they want? What is the big picture? This is Marshall Vine Summers, who claims to be a divine messenger. You might think, what, another nutcase with mental health issues? I came across Marshall from my interest in UFOs and aliens. I discovered he has imparted very detailed information on the alien presence on Earth, and contrary to what many other messengers of non-human sources, their presence is nefarious, not love and light. This resonated with me, and I created a website called badaliens.info, which is a compilation of evidence for heinous activity by aliens. I consequently did a deep dive into the many other topics he has discussed regarding reality and our place in it. What follows is a brief overview. If you are sufficiently interested, there are links at the end where you can study the teachings in a lot more depth. Marshall says God isn't an old man with a beard, it's an energy force. And each sentient being in the universe contains a soul, which is part of the divine. All these extraterrestrial races in the universe will each have a soul, like we do on Earth, and they will go through a cycle of reincarnations. What is creation? According to Marshall's teachings, which I'll now quote, creation is all that God has created within time and beyond time. You live within time, so that you live in a part of creation that is in motion, that is in flux, that is unstable, and that is evolving and expanding. This part of creation was established to provide a home for the separated, where they could experience separation and have the opportunity to choose a way to return to that part of creation that does not change, that is complete and eternal. Your soul, which is eternal and part of God, is experiencing this separation and will go through many incarnations till it returns to its ancient home. This is entirely confounding to your human understanding, and this is entirely confounding to the understanding of the countless races of beings who live within the greater community of intelligent life that comprises the physical universe in which you live. They are all living in separation. They are all experiencing evolution. They represent the evolution of consciousness, technology and social establishment at every conceivable level. Wherever there is sentient life in the universe, there will be an angelic assembly or a conduit of beings between God and said sentient life. They are composed of individuals, but can speak collectively as a one voice. They occasionally incarnate on planets to try and uplift the populace. Some of the prophets on Earth in the past have been from the angelic assembly. They were not extraterrestrials. And as you can imagine, they don't really take the form that you see in biblical literature. Their goal is to ignite a deeper intelligence within individuals, the intelligence of knowledge, and through this intelligence to contribute to the well-being, protection and advancement of their peoples and nations. So the basic structure is you have God at the top, who influences the angelic assembly, who influences souls across the universe. As well as the physical family, i.e. a mother and a father, you also have what's called a spiritual family, these will be a collection of individuals that were part of you before separation. Some members of your spiritual family are in this world at this time, some of them are in other worlds, and some of them are not in physical reality at all. You have come into the world for your own advancement and for the advancement of your group. As your group advances and expands, it will be able to join with other groups, and then like rivers joining with one another into greater and greater flowing bodies of water, you will find your way home to God which is the source and destiny of all relationships. Steps to Knowledge is an ancient book which has been transmitted to Marshall. It contains 365 meditation steps and is designed to harness that sacred knowledge within you. The term knowledge has been known by other names such as the higher self. The power of knowledge is the sacred intelligence placed within each individual. Bizarrely, Marshall was told that nefarious ETs are totally unaware of knowledge and its power. For if it were known, there would be no heinous activity here, and such unethical behaviour would not be attempted. The greater powers of humanity are not being used, 
and humanity has been encouraged to behave in ways that are not in its best interests. While humanity is now dazzled by the technology apparent and alien craft, has yet to learn the greater powers that exist in the mental environment, powers that will exceed technological abilities. The power of knowledge is the power to see beyond deception, the power to block inquiry, the power to know things that others cannot see, the power to maintain your integrity, the power to discern danger and the power to recognise a true friend and ally. According to Marshall, the two greatest threats facing mankind now are climate change and visiting the extraterrestrials that are nefarious in agenda. Marshall advises that if a critical number of humans become aware and harness knowledge, then our planet and civilization will have a positive outlook.